Hi everyone, I'm Steph from Be Active. I hope you're all well, lovely to see you again. I hope everybody's feeling healthy and we're all staying safe. Um, so today is the first day of Mental Health Awareness Week and uh, while we've talked quite a lot around mental health up until now in the form of ways we can manage how we feel with anxiety and depression, we've kind of talked around um, management techniques like exercise and relaxation and yoga. But what we haven't spoken too much about is food. And actually food is just as important as anything with regards to how we feel, because what we put inside our body is who we are. We are what we eat um, and we're directly affected by that. So I just wanted to explore how mood and food works or food and mood, <laughs> however we want to say it. Um, so I've already just made a, a short clip on a, a recipe that I use sometimes for a healthy balanced breakfast, um, which if you've seen that already, then uh, I hope you've had a go and enjoyed it. Um, breakfast is where I wanted to start. So absolutely vital. Let's make sure that we eat a healthy balanced breakfast. It, at night we're asleep for however long you're asleep between five and eight hours I would imagine um, it's a long time for our body to go without food and water so when we wake up in the morning this is what our body needs we're looking for a bit of hydration through water and we're looking for a healthy balanced breakfast so let's make sure we start the day right if you don't have a sweet tooth so the overnight oat is great for somebody with a sweet tooth if you're more of a savory person Good example of a healthy breakfast could be a slice of wholemeal toast, maybe a boiled or a poached or a fried egg in olive oil. It's nice to slice up a tomato with some mushrooms on the side as well. Um, so you've got a good mix there. You've got a good mix of your carbohydrates in the bread, you've got protein in the egg, you've got some vitamins and minerals in the tomatoes and the mushrooms. Um, and it's going to release energy for your body slowly through the morning. That's going to be a, a good, good place to start. Excuse me a second. So the second thing I would like to say is just around hydration. I'm sure you've felt this before. When we're dehydrated, we are groggy in our mind. We can't think clearly. We might have a headache. We're low in energy. There are all sorts of repercussions that we will feel in our body from not drinking enough fluid. So we need to try and make sure we can have between six and eight glasses of preferably plain water every single day. Some people do say that they can't abide by plain water. Okay, maybe we can go with a, a zero sugar squash or those high juices are quite nice, aren't they? So if we can go for a low sugar, um, a low sugar cordial drink, then that would be a good place to start. So let's stay hydrated. So looking at Keeping our blood sugar levels balanced and stable throughout the day is absolutely essential for making sure our mood stays as, as regulated as, as it possibly can be. Um, I'm sure you've all heard the term hangry, uh, which I certainly suffer from if I don't eat. Uh, <laughs> what happens is if we go for too long without eating good quality food, so slow release energy food, such as again, wholemeal bread or some rice or pasta or potatoes with our rainbow of fresh or tinned or frozen fruit and vegetables. If we're not eating regularly enough, what will happen is our blood sugar levels will drop. And then what that will leave us feeling is irritated, frustrated, low in mood, low in energy, tired and yet, yeah, hangry <laughs> we need food so we want to try and avoid the high sugary snacks and uh, foods like cakes and biscuits as lovely as they are as a treat of course we're not going to completely take them out of our diet but let's not rely on that as our main source of fuel through the day if we want to maintain good energy levels and um, good clear thinking and uh, a, a better mood for ourselves so foods that we can eat to directly help our, our mind and our brain with producing the right feel-good hormones that we need for keeping ourselves feeling as happy as we possibly can are going to be foods which have um, essential fatty acids like omega-3s. Um, so I know sometimes we can want to steer clear of certain fats, but actually these are the fats that we need to help with 
good good mood good mood food um so we can find that in fish nuts uh, seeds eating like beans and chickpeas and pulses lovely lovely good quality food as as well we're looking for the rainbow diet too so we want to make sure we're always getting our our nutrients and our vitamins and our minerals on top of our omega-3 fatty acids we want to make sure we're getting the the fruit and vegetables in as much as we possibly can too through the day so finally, last thing I just wanted to talk about was um, alcohol and caffeine, which I know we've spoken about before. And of course, we're always going to enjoy these, but let's try and moderate them as much as we possibly can. Um, we want to make sure that we're not existing on alcohol and caffeine. We want them to be treats as opposed to the, the main bulk of what we're drinking. And another thing to think about as well is if we do have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a glass of wine, let's try and have a glass of water with that as well. Because the alcohol and the caffeine is actually um, going to dehydrate us even more as a diuretic. It makes us go to the toilet more often, which in turn means that we actually lose more fluid. So let's replace that fluid with another glass of water. All of this will help to support our immune system and it will help keep our immune system as strong as we can possibly keep it, which as we know is really important right now. Good quality sleep, lots of uh, stress management, good nutrition. So there's just a couple of hints and tips there, a couple of things we can do to help us with, with regards to how we're feeling. I hope that helps you and feel free to contact me if you'd like any more information or advice, anything in a bit more detail. I'm always on hand to help. Um, and good luck and I hope that helps. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.